Today is the day. It's finally come. Josh is in the car <laughs> and we are going to spend this Saturday building a bigger chicken run for us. It's not going to be, it's going to be, whoop, it's going to be functional and I'm super excited about it. We don't have a ton of time to build what we would want to be like a permanent run, but I've got an idea. Josh is going with me on this one because if it was Josh, he is the perfectionist and he's the one that's going to do a really, you know, want it to look absolutely perfect, but we don't have time for that. So we're just going to make it work and we're going to build a chicken run because yesterday I spent all day planting out a ton of starts and we can't have the girls free ranging anymore. And I want them to have a bigger run. If you're new, we have a pretty good sized garden in the back of our property. And during the fall and winter, I let my girls free range my entire one acre property all the time. But now that I have my garden started to be planted out, I can't let them free range because they would eat all the produce before I could get to it. So we just got here and I'm not seeing the cattle panels, which they're normally in this outdoor area. So I'm really hoping they have them. If you've watched any of my garden videos, you know that the cattle panels are what I grew my tomatoes on. And that's what I want to build this chicken coop out of. So I really hope they have them. Let's go inside and find out. I was here the other day and I told Josh I almost bought chickens because they have the Polish with the fluffy heads. And you can even see in here that some of them are already starting to get little fluffy heads. So the way it works is they have these little tickets and you go and you bring these up to the counter and they ring these up. And this is what we want. 16 foot by 50 inches tall. Yeah, this is what we want. This is where Josh's mind comes into play because he can think through the different options a little bit better versus I just have an idea and I go with it. But they have these rolled up fencing, but sometimes they're a little flimsy, so they might not like stay. I don't know. Roll, so. Should we go outside and look at them? Potentially. Okay. Oh yeah, because then they couldn't get through like that tall one right in front of you. Hmm? Yeah. Well, there's different widths, like... Gauges? That's too that's, short that's probably very, for them though. Very wide, but like that's it's a horse fence. But... but it's tall though. But yeah, like this one here. Like how tall does it need to be? So the way that I was thinking about building this was using T posts and those cattle panels. Oh, those are too short. Oh, they're over here, maybe? But chickens can crawl through those because the holes are so big. So we were gonna have to put a, a row of chicken wire around the base, which we have that already. We already own that. So that's something we wouldn't have to buy, but I'm not seeing what we need or what I was envisioning. We could probably figure something else out. I think that one roll over there might be what we want. I think so. Cause these are also very rigid and maybe over-engineered for chickens. Probably, but I need these for my peas. I think we found what we're gonna go with since we have to kind of go with plan B here. This is a galvanized, it's 100 feet long, 48, 48 inches tall, two inches by four inch holes. So the girls aren't gonna be able to squeeze through that. This is why Josh is perfect because I'm the one that drives the project and he's the one that's gonna make sure it's done correctly. He's researching all the things that we need to know and this is gonna be pretty nice for our little girls. I'm excited about it. He's watching a YouTube video right now on it. The way it works at our local feed store is you pay inside, they give you these little cards and you pay with those and then you come out and they load your truck. So we got 25 T-Post, we got two of that wire that's 100 feet with the holes that are four feet by, no. Four inches by two inches. Four inches by two inches, and they're four feet tall. So our chickens shouldn't be able to hop over them, but I will clip their wings once we build this. And then we got four wooden posts for the corners. So that's where Josh comes in, is that it's gonna be, this is gonna be a lot sturdier and more robust than I was planning on making. So it should be able to stick around for quite some time. We decided to stop into Home Depot to see if we can find a gate. And we also wanted to get a sealer for the end of those wood posts so that they don't rot in the ground. So we realized that the old chicken coop or chicken run that the chickens used to be in has a gate. So what we're gonna try to do is repurpose that gate. So this is the area that we're gonna put the chicken coop. We just got home 
and I want it to fill in most of this area here because I can't grow anything here because these trees are just too big, too much shade. And this is just too small of a run for them over here. So we wanna make something a little bit more permanent. So right now I'm gonna let them out and we're gonna put them in the old run. So this is the original run right here that the previous owners put in. And this was the original chicken coop, but it is just falling apart and molding from the inside because it's not secure. So Josh built me this coop and the intention of this coop was to be able to move it, but it's way too heavy and it doesn't move. And so we need to rework this situation. So what I want to do here is after we build the large coop or run, I should say back here, we're going to move this coop into that run and then we're gonna take this down. This needs to come down so that I can maximize my garden space. Because of all the beautiful trees that I have on my property and my neighbors have on their property, sun becomes an issue. But right here, there's a break in the trees. And so I can expand my garden this way and I can grow a bunch more stuff here as opposed to what I can grow back here because of these trees and how the sun patterns work in the summer. This is the gate here that we're gonna repurpose, I think, and we're gonna use for this new run that we're gonna be building them. We have this whole huge area back here too that we can build into the chicken run. It's just a matter of did we buy enough materials. This was all stuff that was left from the previous owner and I have used it in my previous gardens. And then I just throw it back here. So I do need to clean this mess up. Those are all tomato cages and just random garden supplies. Josh started working on mapping out where the chicken coop was gonna be. You can see this pink line. And as he was working on that, I started cleaning up this leftover garden supplies. I'm gonna repurpose all of this stuff. It's just a matter of getting it organized. Last fall, I kinda just tossed it back here and didn't do much with it. So now I am helping Josh. We measured I think it, I can't remember if it's three feet or four feet from the raised beds. We mapped out where we're going to put the chicken coop, but before we build anything, we need to move the original chicken coop. So it wasn't pretty, but Josh and I just propped up the coop on these concrete, I don't even know what they're called, cinder blocks, because we have wheels that can go underneath this, so we can wheel this to the back. This thing is very, very heavy. So there are so many worms in this here and we're eventually going to, I'm gonna shovel all this up and we're gonna put it on the in-ground garden over there. And that is the where we're gonna put the wheels right there that Josh just put under here. My nephews are over here, so you might hear them in the background. Yeah, right, can I have one of those? Just try and put most of your weight on the top, but you can just put a leg on there to, to bring it down. Yep. The side will go on, so. Hmm? The side will at least go on. You ready? Okay, push. Knock on wood, this is going pretty well. That's great. So we just want to do a ditch. Okay, ready? Yeah. So the goal is to move this chicken coop into the chicken run that we're creating. And this is what is predator proof and what the girls are gonna be able to lay their eggs in in their final run. Because we are not building, I would say, a predator proof run, I wanna be able to secure them somewhere where things like possums and raccoons can't get to them. This has been proven for two and a half years that nothing's been able to get in there. So I want an extra layer of protection. So that's what the goal is of enclosing this chicken coop in the chicken run. We should have done this. It was actually not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. We should have done this a year and a half ago. Yes. We have to get the wheels off because we're gonna make this stationary again. This is what's gonna be predator proof in this run. I will have to come out at night and close it just so that raccoons and possums and things like that can't get to the chickens. You got one. Oh, did you, I thought you needed my help. I, well, I probably would be <laughs> ideal. <laughs> okay, I'll help you with the next one. <laughs> no, 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 you gotta pull it evenly from your side. Go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. 
My parents came over with my nephews and brought us lunch, so we enjoyed a nice lunch together. And then they wanted to hang out and kind of help us with our projects. So my mom was super graciously picking up all of these garden supplies and organizing these. While she was doing this, I was shoveling up what was that manure that was left behind where the coop had been. I would clean that out probably every two months but I went ahead and I took this time while my mom was working on organizing the garden supplies by trying to clean up that chicken manure. While we were working on those projects, my dad was cleaning up all of the debris. There were a dead tree he cleaned up. There was just a bunch of branches and he wanted to go ahead and start a fire. While we were doing those projects, Josh was working on the corner posts. Those needed to be whittled down into a point in order for him to drive those into the ground. We looked at renting the equipment that would drive them into the ground by a machine, but we couldn't find one to rent, so Josh is going to manually drive these into the ground. Just uh... Okay, we're going to start the fire, the famous, oh, you know with the famous fire starter that, that Becky and, and uh, Susan put together. So let's just see how it does. Now this stuff's green, but we have enough dry stuff underneath. Hopefully this will burn. If it doesn't, well, <laughs> chalk it up for just another experience. So we're going to set the fire starter we're right having fun down anyway. in. And we're just going to let this, get this whole thing started. And in a minute, you'll see this in a blaze. Thanks, guys. Oh. Cleaning yeah, the place oh, up. Yeah. Put order in the chicken shed or the <laughs> tool shed or whatever. So my mom's going to show me what she did. She organized it for me. You need some hooks to hang the tools up. I know. This nail. I know. Nail in the wall. So we got a second wheelbarrow full of this chicken coop clean out we're going to spread in just a minute these girls are talking to us oh they laid an egg out there i heard one squawking i know i feel bad <laughs> it'll be better for them in the long run so this is going to be all cleaned up we'll end up putting clean shavings over here so it'll be nice and fresh my mom got all of this back here picked up oh yeah so much better we'll probably just burn that old cardboard yeah and the chicken run's going to come all the way back here so we don't waste the space this has always been just wasted space back here. Oh wow, mom. You Look did. At this. I didn't show the before, but Oh, it was bad, let me tell you. It, it was, was not bad. bad, bad. <laughs> okay, tools over there. You need something to hang them up on there, but in the meantime they're stacked there. Nice. Chicken stuff. That was all left over from the previous owner. Oh, I don't know. I called up the wire that was in a nice. rat's nest. Your bags and they're still on the plastic so they're not directly on the wood. Perfect. Gathered up all the potting stuff, put it in one box. Stacked these as best I could. There's some chicken wire back there. Your fertilizer. Oh wow, this looks so much better. All your cables. Yeah. And the lid is out. I just need to get the lid in okay. here. Okay. Yeah, the so rats the reason, will get in here. The reason we don't let the chickens in here is because this is just mold. Because the the it's roof leaks. Room. Yeah. So the lid not anything open. that we want living creatures living in. I don't even really like being in there for any length of time other than just to go in and out. My mom got the lid. Yeah, if you don't put a lid on it, there'll be rats. Yeah. I don't know why it's out here anyway, but it's already looking so much better out here. My dad's cleaning up all the branches. He started a fire and I'm cleaning up this mess and I'm excited for 2022. So we're just going to keep working and I'm going to keep showing you. Oh, wow. Look, let's see what Josh is doing. He's already Wow, that looks great. What you doing over here, Josh? I'm pounding on a post with a log. <laughs> so I'm lacking other things that are heavy. Um, Where there's a will, there's a way. We don't have a mallet that's heavy enough. And our pile driver is too narrow, so. Hey, my motto of always being prepared <laughs> didn't work. I wasn't planning, I would never <laughs> work in the garden in this outfit with these nice nikes i would have my rubber boots 
and some old sweatpants. I enjoy this and it's so much fun that I'm willing to sacrifice these. And you know, I can throw these in the washing machine with the chicken manure. Thanks, Mom. They'll wash. <laughs> so we're just all working here. So great. I already love this. I wish we had moved this a year ago. It wasn't that hard. I'm just so happy to have that out of the way. Because this little shed is cute. I think it's cute because I painted it two years ago to match the house. It's just not really functional to store our chickens in. They say, maybe, maybe do it a little lower. Maybe, okay. Maybe. So my nephews are over here helping my dad build this wonderful fire and they wanted marshmallows. And I didn't have any until I remembered that we had some homemade ones. They're a little bit stale, but I think you're gonna enjoy it, right? Right. Right? <laughs> They chocolate on them. Yeah, they have some cocoa powder on them, but they'll, they'll cook up just fine. This is the last one to Papa. Pop, Pop oh. wants it. I can't do it. I can't either. I ate so they're much so, for lunch. They're so delicious, Papa. Are they? <laughs> yeah. They're Becky's creation. Did you know those are homemade marshmallows, yes. Hudson? Did you know you could make homemade marshmallows? Yeah. You'll have to make some for our camping trip. Yeah, I will. I can do that. Make oh, them, Mom, that's perfect. Make them not My mom always has had the perfect one. patience for a good marshmallow. Look at that. Perfection. It's all in how you twist it <laughs> until it falls in the ashes. Good. It is a little different yeah. cooking a square yeah. marshmallow Those than a round really one. Wow. They don't swell up. I think it's because they're drier. They're stale. Yeah. Super oh, my hot. sister's on her way over. She just stopped by. Josh is over there pounding in one of the corner posts. My mom said I have a clematis over there. I, I didn't even know. I found a gorgeous clematis all tangled up in the blackberries that I've been cutting the blackberries away uh, for the chicken run to go. Um, I don't know if clematis or blackberries are not good for chickens, but I'm hoping the chickens will pick the shoots, eat the oh, shoots, yeah, the and then yeah, and then they won't come back. What are you guys doing? Thank oh. you. Come hang out. No, we have a birthday party in oh. 10 minutes. Are they away? Yeah. Hey, honey pie. Hi. Thank you for bringing it back for me. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Look, it's all up in the tree. Oh, yeah. And it's all along here. It's a big one. I started hacking at the root, and then I realized that's not a blackberry. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Oh, it's yeah. Just all, it was all tangled Is in. Is it blooming? Well, not yet, but look at it will. So can we wind that along the whole fence? Because this will be out of the chicken coop. Oh yeah, probably. You're not going to go up to the fence? No, we're going to go along this tree line. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can. So we got the first corner post in. We got three more to go. And it's coming along. I feel like moving this was half the effort for some reason. Well, speak for yourself. Oh. <laughs> now I know why they make those machines. <laughs> yeah. Only we had one available. So from our one post, we ran a line so we could make sure it's parallel. And we put some T-posts in. And Josh is over there driving in the second post. I need electrolytes. <laughs> I'll get you some electrolytes. <laughs> so what Josh is doing in order to get these posts in, because we don't have an electric driver, because that's the ideal tool for this, is he drove a T-post in first just to make sure that there was no rock or something in the way. We have lots of rocks on this property. And so he first drives in the T-post, takes that out, and then he has kind of like a pilot hole. And he did, you know how we showed you how he um, used the rack. What was that, what's that tool called? The pile driver? No, the, the hammer, no, the. The hatchet? The hatchet, he used the hatchet to create a point to help drive that into the ground. Ideally, if you had an electric one, you wouldn't have to make that point. You could just drive it into the ground, but just not with... It shakes it down. It just shakes it down. It looks so nice. It looks... I would give for one of those. <laughs> we looked. We looked for them to rent, and there were none to rent, and there weren't even any to buy if we wanted to right now anyway. So I'm going to go get him a beverage. So we went to the Redmond Real Salt Mine, and they have these, what, relights? They're basically like a natural Gatorade, and Josh really likes them. He really was cramping. Good. I was cramping up a little bit, so I'm hoping some electrolytes will help. <laughs> no artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners. There's stevia in it, but they're pretty good. It's tasty. Very tasty. Is it hitting the spot? It's hitting the spot for sure. I can link them down below if you do a lot of physical labor. My dad, he's a 
major cyclist and he said he thinks he's gonna switch because he said they taste better or they taste healthier so while Josh is doing that because that's something I can't really do that much I'm gonna go ahead and start planting some more onions I started this project yesterday and it got dark on me I'm gonna get my iced tea here and it got dark on me so I only got to one section of the onions so I'm gonna come back let's show let me show you what I have over here you all know that flowers is a big goal of mine this year so I left a little spot here for some flowers these are a red onion and then I have the rest of this these two flats to, to plant so I'm gonna take a few moments and I'm gonna work on getting these planted these are Patterson I think I lost the tag on them I have to go back and look and see what they are those are Walla Walla and Red Wing I got from here over planted. We still have quite a few to do. This is a very slow and tedious process, but it's coming along. I'm happy with the progress. Josh has every single corner post in, which was a huge, huge feat. And we've kind of talked through it and we've decided we are going to adjust our plan a little bit. And I just have to say, I am so happy with how this project is turning out. This is way better than anything that I was thinking or planning on doing. We were going to try to get this project done in one day, but we were a little bit too ambitious and that's totally fine because with my parents' help, we got a ton of other projects kind of done that I wouldn't have had time or Josh wouldn't have had time just to get to by ourselves. So let me show you what we've got done. It's pretty epic and I'm super happy with how big this thing is. This is going to be way bigger than I was planning to. So do you see that post there and there? That's gonna be the end of it and where this pink line is, that is going to be the entire length of the run. We're gonna put the door, I didn't even tell you because we went back and forth on this a ton of times, but we're gonna put the door right here, right in the middle. Our coop's gonna be there. I'm gonna to have to go in there to collect the eggs, the egg collectors right at the back and to fill up their waterer, which is totally fine because it's not gonna be short <laughs> like this one is. I'm gonna be able to actually walk in there. But what we decided to change was the height of the fencing. After Josh got these in the ground, they ended up being about five feet tall and that fencing that we purchased right here, we purchased four feet tall fencing. So we figured we should maximize this height. So in the morning, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna return this fencing and the t-posts we bought and i'm going to go buy five foot fencing and six foot tall t-posts because we drive those t-posts into the ground about one foot you guys ask a lot about what josh does around here and he does so much around here it's just not his favorite thing to be in front of the camera he's usually doing things that are off scenes but i really appreciate his help and i really appreciate he was willing to work on this project because uh it's going to turn out way better than what I was going to do, and I'm just really excited about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing, because tomorrow you're going to see us wrap up this project. And if you want to watch more of my videos, I'll put some videos up here, cooking, gardening, all the things. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, guys. Give me a kiss. Love you. Okay. Woo! <laughs> She's being a goober. There you go.